Who's he? Who, you dying, bro? Go try jump scare me, Mike. You're dead. What is up, everybody? <laughs> Throw your hands around for no damn reason. We're here with a brand new walkthrough, and this is a game that I have never yet indulged in. Until dawn, this is a game that I wanted to play on release. Never got around to it. It's waiting until now, and I'm gonna dive into it a new walkthrough. Uh, if you don't know what this game is about, it's basically. It's what I don't know what they call these games, but it's like the Telltale games where your decisions affect outcomes with the butterfly effect, and it's completely based around that idea. It's got actors in it like Hayden Panettiere, as you can see. Uh, and that's basically what it is. It's a horror game. So we're gonna move. Let me know what you think in the comments, actually. We could either do our best to keep every survivor alive or we could go 100% savage every man for themselves, and whoever we're controlling at the time is who we try and keep alive. That's what we could do. 100% savage, just go out for yourself. Let's jump to the main story. You guys can let me know in the comment section. For now, we're going to try and keep everybody alive. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. That's the butterfly effect. Anything you do affects the future. Anything you change in the past affects the future. So basically little things make big impacts. That's what it's saying. Smallest decision could drastically affect the future. That's what the butterfly is. Butterfly effect. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Now I've heard nothing but great things for about this game. Uh, it's kind of got a cult following on YouTube so hopefully this game does a bit well for my channel. I'd love that. Just thought it. It's one of many possibilities. Now, I'm going to try regardless to keep this different. That's one of the main things about this game. Everybody has a different experience, but I'm going to try and make it. I'm, if I feel like something is too obvious, I'm going to try and go with the opposite decision. I'm going to try and do what y'all ain't seen yet. So, what, we got a typical cabin in the woods, of course. Any black person in the story, I'm disappointed in you. You should know better. Only white people go to cabins in woods at, at night. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Why is there always... Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, M. <sighs> just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. What do we do? What do we do? We get, we get into pranks again? This isn't YouTube 2014. Pranks ain't cool. Hannah! <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. I'd smash, I'm not gonna lie. This weekend, Josh. Yo, that dude was kitted out. He looked like goddamn. I can't remember the, the dude's name, bro. He looked kitted out with all types of armor. Who are we controlling now? We got a name. Whoever we're controlling now, this is the first person we get to control in the game. We're gonna try and keep her alive. This is her story. Do you, baby? Use the right stick to look around. Right stick isn't really doing all too much. You look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even hotter out of it. Mike, you ain't got no game. You ain't getting this pussy. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? 
So am I Hannah? No, Hannah was the the chick with the glasses. I yeah, I smash Hannah. That's Hannah. I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Savage, I mean, use the right stick to choose what? Wait, Josh, find others. Well, Josh is right here. Josh, is Josh, Josh Black. Am I disappointed in you, Josh? Guys, there's someone outside. Montana? What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. <sighs> oh, shit! Alright, looks like we got some QTE! I'm telling you right now, if I don't like a certain character, I'm letting that ass die, bruh. Nah, let's go safe route, bruh. Should we? I don't know. Should we let everybody think like a black person? Because black people are the only people who are logical in these situations. Ain't going to fast route if it ain't safe. You really think I'm running around out here? Follow the footprints or follow the noise. I'm not following no damn noise. I like shit quiet. Jesus fuck shit. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? This is a bit, I don't know, like, we got... That all the damn apps you got? Was that Tinder, baby? You looking for some dick? Hannah! You want me to drop some dick off? I'm dropping dick off. Dropping dick off like they've been dropping dick off in, on Black China. Or in Black China. <laughs> no, I don't. That, no, hey, what the. No, animals don't do that. Jump scares from animals. Hello? Hello? She's stupid, man. I kinda. I want her to die. She want. I mean. Should we punish her and just let her die? I don't know, man. Who was that? Was that me? Death totem. Totem prophecies. Black death. The possible death of a person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believe that the butterfly bore dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells the possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock terms, the events of the past will become clear. Alright, let's play that then. Oh, damn, we ain't got nothing. We can't see that, baby. Okay, so, uh... So, do, do I do anything with these? Or are they literally just showing me what might happen? If I collect more of them, do I avoid the death? Or does that just happen from how I play? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. 
But Beth, you might just have to take the first a little walk through. I mean, we already know whoever the finest character is, is going to be the one that I keep alive. What the hell was that? Hannah. What Hannah. the fuck are you doing? Huh? Hannah. Hannah! Get your ass up! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such a... Yes! I'm so yes! Oh, one of y'all died tonight. You tripped, you dead. You tripped, you dead. That's the rules. You know what? That's the rules of the walkthrough. You tripped, you dead. That's how it goes. I've decided. Don't give a fuck. Okay, keep that foot in. I've had no control over this. They just stupid. Hold on. And what is blowing fire like that? Uh. Uh. Eva results in a drop. What? Oh. Down, baby. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Can I go back? Because she tripped, so she should die. That was the rule, and I didn't follow the rule. Is they dead? I, I didn't even have... Before we begin... There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. Yo, I love this guy. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this. As you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential to answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. All right, we could do that. If you start smiling at me like that, you look like a pervert. Stop it. Why I got these gloves on? Am I the killer? So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Maybe feel like I want to play the game, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with any of these answers, but um. Well, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? I mean, again, neither. <laughs> I see. So, which word would best describe how you feel about darkness? Well, winter nights are cold and dark. Depression, feelings of loneliness are not uncommon. This night in which your game takes place is particularly cold and dark. 
I would think that you might feel isolated at times. Does that bother you? I mean, you know what? Be by yourself, that means no one can fuck up your experience. Well, not much of a people's person, are we? Well, it seems we have uncovered a significant topic to explore in our next session, but for now, we're out of time. Have fun on your own. Until then. <sighs> I like that guy, man. Now, I can't remember what films he's been in. Like, no films spring to mind, but I do like that guy. He's a great actor. So they got him. They got Hayden Panettiere. I don't know who else they got, but I couldn't. I didn't put. I couldn't put a finger on anyone from that first segment. But two bitches is down already. Two bitches is down already. God damn, that's not gonna do well in the news. Two white bitches killed out in the woods. Like, oh man. Two little white girls. At least Josh survived. If he's the only black brother in the game, we're gonna have to keep him alive. Have to. But other than that, you trip, you die. That's the rules, bruh. You trip, you die. If you, anytime you hit the ground, even if someone pushes you, baby, we're gonna have to skip this with all the music, though. We ain't fucking with the music. Gonna have to wait till that passes. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> well, damn. We got music again. What the fuck? 
This music is so weird too, what is this? Who is this? Here we go. Chapter one, part uh, st stage one. I don't know. Part one, act one. This bitch is right behind you, and they don't. Yeah, you don't see him, hear him, sense him. Hannah's ex best friend, I guess. Considerate, adventurous, diligent. I like that word, diligent. We're gonna keep you alive, baby, because you're diligent. And because you got them lips that I just wanna explore. You know what? Let me not. Uh, let me not. Hello? Someone there? You think I, I'm, I'm. If that's me, I am sprinting. I swear, matter of fact, on the way. To one of my friends house they have a long alleyway like this and when I go there in the nighttime it's pitch black but it's like the only way to get there really so I I, I, used, I used to literally sprint through that shit like it, it's scary as fuck I used to sprint through there you think I'm walking hell no climb over what the fuck I look like you got spikes on top and shit. Oh, Jesus, never mind. But nah, yeah, I mean, walking through that shit was too scary. It was like a goddamn horror movie. So I would literally just, like, i get ready. i say, all right. Boom. Kick it. i probably put my light on. Get the light from my phone so I can see where I'm going and shit. But for the most part, it was just a straight line. And there was like bushes on either side. Nah, bro. Don't play that. Play it safe, cause I know I'ma do something that's gonna fuck me up for the future. I'ma try and jump. She gonna fall, sprain her ankle or something. And then when we get chased later, she gonna be fucked, cause she got a sprained ankle. You gonna think about this shit, man? You gonna think about this shit? And she's diligent, so we need her. She's tight diligent. Climb over the wall. You better, you better know. You tell me. You send me a message like that. You ain't gonna see me that day. I'm turning around. I'm going back home. Talking about climb the gate. Fuck you. Aww. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? Ah. I don't know what they wanted me to do. Like what? What? That's not even a button on Dude, the pad. Come on. Yo, what did they, what? Oh, hold it instead. Oh, I didn't read that bit, you know. Hey, it's okay. That's it. Alright, we'll uh, be good this time. I thought they wanted me to press something. Don't move. We're good. <laughs> why you just got nuts in your pocket? Uh, Why? Okay, I like this. So we got character traits. I don't know if they'll change our relationship status. That will most likely change throughout the game. We got a whole heap of characters we're gonna have to keep alive. Let's hope none of them trip. Because if they all trip, then this game ends early. If we're running side by side and you trip, I ain't turning around and coming back for you. Okay, well, I feel like we're gonna have to remember this. So really, really, we just need to. 
Remember the red one and the white one. What's that, brown? Okay, like, I, I've read it. Can you move on? Alright, so what color is the butterfly? Is that... Yeah, so I'm guessing you got you got to like collect enough to piece stuff together. So it seems like it's going to be interesting. There's just a bag here. Chris, you here? Bag's here. Where are you? Not in the bag, are you? Y'all know how fucked up that is that you could just be being watched like that and you really, I mean, you really don't know, like. Aha! Look who it is. He knows it. Chris! You're too old for this group, bro. You're too, you're too old for this group. I'm looking at a bunch of college students and you standing out right here as a retired professor. Has a crush on Ashley, protective, humorous, methodical. Ah, you might be useful though. You scared me. I, I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. I'm gonna blow your mind. Your mind. I'm gonna blow your mind. Yeah, he's too old for this group, man. Look at the difference in age. And I mean, why well, not age, but. Oh man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America? 1998. Like so when is this outside. game set? Oh come on, this place is abandoned. Y'all hear yeah. that? Pretty rad, right? Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right. Here goes. Okay, we're Chris now. I don't feel like they needed that cutscene. I feel like they could have just let the shooting be shooting. You know? We don't need a cutscene for that. Just let me shoot. It's unnecessary. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, no, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Come now, we ain't gonna shoot the damn squirrel just to prove a point. Okay, so something we just done triggered the butterfly effect. I don't know. Can we check the butterfly? Okay. Oh, okay. Sam looked at Chris's income and message. Chris was offended. Oh, so even the littlest shit they tell you about. I don't care about if he be bitch ass offended. Nature remained in balance. Good. Cool. Alright, so really in this game, the littlest tiny things will affect the game. Like... That's that's wild. Goddamn retired. Look at the look he's giving. This goddamn retired professor. 
It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Did y'all hear that as well when we were shooting? I heard someone breathing in my ear. After you. Oh, real gentleman. Trust these idiots to turn up at night time too. You turn it up at 9 o'clock at night. Why? Why you didn't go down there at 12 in the morning? I just don't know. It's because well, it's because they white. I bet you Josh is here already. Or Josh ain't coming down till tomorrow morning. It's closer. Guess we gotta wait. What do you have, Josh? The black Josh. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. I only bought a mountain. I want to find out when this game is set. Is it modern? Is it current day? Huh? Got my eye on that damn screen. And what, what are we doing in here? Oh, we're going for the cable cars. Somebody going to die tonight. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was going to stay here and catch some disease, but okay. You think you're funny? I don't think you, I don't think you're as funny as you seem to think you are. Bitch. Just like going to the prom. I want to control sound. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him. Kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Okay. I mean, the whole story before was completely unnecessary, but the butterfly effect point, I ride with that. I ride with that point, but the whole story wasn't necessary. You could have just said butterfly effect. Jess, she got some overbite going on right there. Confident, trusting, and... Oh, God. I don't know what that word means. I don't know if they meant irrelevant, uh, which is kind of rude. What is irrever irre irreverent? What the fuck is that? I, I, I'm good at English. Boy, okay. I know Boy. words. Google, help me. I thought it was a typo. Lacking respect or seriousness. I'm I'm irreverent. That's me. I should have known that word. She got the braids. She got the she she would get hit from the back. Definitely with their braids. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please. Oh my 
My God. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend. Shit, that butterfly fit up there, because I didn't even do nothing, bro. Sam looked at... Oh, that's the wrong one. Where did... What did... Oh, okay, so you could flip pages within the same... Okay. Chris criticized Sam for being... Uh, that has... See, that has nothing to do with me, though. I wasn't controlling neither of them. Then dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. Totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. I'm getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. The mate. <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. The main difference between this and the other te like Telltale Seriously, games. Couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? So far, there are no dialogue options. Emily, Mike's ex, resourceful, persuasive with that pussy and intelligent. You know that's what persuasive means. She got good, bomb ass pussy. Matt. Oh, I thought that was Josh. Matt is the black guy. Ambitious, active, motivated, and black. You know. And where's the bellboy when you need one? And where's joggers to a cabin in the woods? You ain't joggers out here. Okay. 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 <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. So far, all the girls, they look good. What do you think? Ah! Jesus! Who's he? Who, you dying, bruh. You try to jump scare me? Mike, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. God. I like we're how. All friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward. And we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. I, I see how I feel, but you might have to die for that jump scare act. You might have to die. You might have to die. We might have to let you die. <sighs> What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? She about to go suck my dick. I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. That's not, that's... Em... I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark. I'm just out. trying to make sure I'll you don't start nobody dick on the way. I'm with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. 
Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? I'm questioning you because you a hoe. It said you're a hoe in your bio. Okay. It said persuasive pussy. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Watch how quick she goes suck my dick. Watch. I know these hoes, man. These hoes, I know these hoes. These hoes cannot be trusted. They're gonna find her on our knees in, in episode two. Like that. <sighs> Ashley, I'ma I'm a wait till we've introduced all the characters to um, end this video. Okay, Inquisitive has a crush on Chris. Oh, who has a crush on Chris? Chris is the professor. Okay, it's now 9.30. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Hell no, I'm a... Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> Hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Dan. You look you on a black dude, man. What are you looking at? See anything you Yeah, bro. Uh, it... Let me check it out. Um, sure. Uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, that's what I said. Seriously, Emily? What the hell? Let's check this out and see what's going to happen because we encouraged it. Matt saw Mike and Emily flirting. I mean, yeah, we see that happening. Oh, man. Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Should have picked a better hoe, bro. Should have picked a better hoe. I still don't know how I'm going to play this game if I'm going to try and keep everybody alive. Or if, I mean, I can't do that because if you trip, you die. You trip, you dip. Out the game. It's coming up to 10 o'clock and we still ain't. <laughs> they all got smartphones, so it's got to be relatively <laughs> you current. Not just do that. <laughs> Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? She called herself supple, though. Take cover. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Mmm. <laughs> Crap. You suck. Gotta try harder than that, hero. Alright, let's go ahead. We got ourselves a little war going on. Where are you hiding, little chick? Headshot. Oh, hey. Duck that. Oh snap. Yo, she's an elite athlete, bruh. Hello. Come on. Get hit, bruh. Hey Mike. Back of the head. you got me. Imagine getting shown up like this by a chick, bruh. Imagine. Have a snowball for you get hit from all kinds of angles. You can't hit. Can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. She got that Aaron Rodgers arm. Why the fuck am I throwing shit out, bud? We gotta restore the balance of nature. Oh, you gonna you gonna hit in the head again? Whoa! Oh. Right. And then what? Oh. No more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> Gotcha! Done! Done city! So, did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Alright, alright. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. No, no, bro, we just seen you flying. Ah! 
Oh. You are unfaithful. Okay. okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Why is everyone at a completely different place? I don't understand. I thought they were all meeting at this cabin. Why are they all on a complete different side of this woods? Oh, these white people, man. Making everything tough. Hello again. So many characters we met. We got Chris, oh, Sam, right. Jess, Mike, Matt, Emily, we made some good progress and Ashley in our last session. But I'm grown concerned about your situation. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. All right, we can do that, Doctor. I'm just going off myself right now. They trying to create a um they're, they're trying to create something for the game. I could tell it already. Everything I say worries me. They're going to put that in the game at some point. But it's all right cuz hey, it's, it's a video game. It ain't going to scare me. Uh I don't know. I mean, guns got the range. You can run from a knife. Can't run from a bullet. Oh, don't catch a bullet. What? Why would you fear a cockroach? What can a cockroach do? Can a cockroach is dangerous? Clowns, scarecrows. I don't. I don't. I, I don't personally see why any of those things would be scary. But I don't know. I want to I want to know about you guys. Please let me know what your choices are for each of these questions. Crows is I, mean, I like gore, so I don't want them to take no gore out of the game. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Why you got a box of tissues on your desk? We you know what you're you. doing. Speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay, let's do it quick. Don't know why. Nobody will fuck with a snake. I saw a snake eat a goddamn pig, bruh. A pig. It just ate it up a hole. It had the pig in it, and it was nah, bruh. You know what? Nah, fuck a snake. I ain't down with that. Zombies, I guess. I don't even look like a zombie. A zombie that just looks like a busted ass dude. I love dogs. How can you be scared of dogs? I mean, that dog looks kind of scary. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so. Diligent. <laughs> Good choice of words. Snakes, zombies, and thunderstorms. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Okay, so I'm ready. What y'all think? We might as well do the first hour of the game here. May as well do our video. 
We're at 50 minutes, might as well just make it an hour. Stop at an hour. Whenever we get a chance. Previously on Until Dawn! I mean, nah, we might as well end it here. What the fuck? 